Well, y'all, thank you for coming out. Um, well, the hurricane is gone. That's good news. And the, the really good news is the amount of collaboration, cooperation, and coordination that took place among the, the people, the volunteers, and the government organizations and people uh, all across the, the state and across the, across the coast. We were constantly in communication with each other with the latest information and insights and requests. And we got everybody out. The rules with the hurricane are you get people out of the way as quickly, as safely as you can. And then when the threat is gone, get them back in as quickly and as safely as you can. And that's where we are now. Fortunately, the damage was not nearly as bad as it could have been if the hurricane had taken a little more turn to the, to the left, to the west, uh, as, it, as it did one time. Uh, we, we would have been in uh, a, a lot of trouble. The winds were up to just off the coast of Charleston, for example, uh, off and on with gusts of 92 miles an hour. Hurricane speed, as you know, is 75. But the, the eye of the hurricane stayed away from us. We did get some winds. We do have some damage, but uh, we, can, we can handle it. And as far as we know at the last, last information, we have no deaths as a result or serious injuries as a result of the of the of the storm so that is that is good news but i want to compliment and thank all of those who participated is i think uh, christy hall secretary hall will say there were 430 or so thousand people who did evacuate and they did so in an orderly fashion so as far as we know we had no major accidents Traffic was flowing smoothly, and now it's uh, flowing smoothly back in. And I need to say that the lane reversals worked it just as smooth as silk in Charleston and also Hilton Head. And it's not easy to do that because you have to block a lot of roads and let people know and get people off off the, the roads that are going in the in the wrong direction. But we were able not only to do that, but to to start a little early and then it extended a little more at the last minute for a couple hours. Uh, at the end in order to accommodate the flow. So uh, this is a, a great success story on the way all of our people work together to uh, react to and manage the, the destruction that is always a part of such a threat from a hurricane. So uh, this is a lot of the team members uh, you see here, and as I say, we were in constant communication. And that makes an enormous difference. We, we're starting to feel more and more like a big family uh, everywhere we go. And that's, uh, that's good news for South Carolina. And that's one reason people want to come here, want a vacation here, and want to, want to stay here. Randy? Yes, Thank you, Governor. Uh, yes, it's a pleasure to be able to come up here and talk today about what didn't happen. Uh, we're very blessed and understand that what we could have been through could have been a lot, lot worse. And, you know, I just want to just reinforce again that, you know, this one is done and gone. Uh, there's a few things we'll do to continue to get back to normal, uh, but we're still under a threat for the rest of the year. And please continue to take this time to continue your preparations as we move forward through this hurricane season. And, and please understand that it is very, very important when the governor issues that order for a mandatory evacuation, that that's a serious matter that we need people to take care of because there's a lot of times the storm may end up being worse than what it is. We've gotten lucky the last few times, and that luck will run out at one point. So uh, please heed those warnings and, and take care now to continue to plan for the rest of this year. And obviously you may have had questions that didn't understand certain things, or maybe you just didn't have your family plan put together and had to do so at the last minute. Well, thank goodness we've got some time now to rethink that. And let's, let's take that opportunity to prepare ourselves and prepare our community uh, so that the next time uh, we're ready to go and, and it'll be a lot less anxiety involved. And, and that's what I hope everybody understands, that we've still got time again and be ready because the season is still young. So thank you very much. Now I'll turn this over to uh, Secretary Hall. Thank you, Randy. Uh, with regards to roads and bridges in this particular uh, part of the state, we are in a very good condition. Most of the roads are open and uh, no, no major issues on our highways in this area. 
We do continue to ask for your patience as we deal with any down traffic signals and pick up any sort of uh, uh, tree limbs and other things that are on the side of the road, but uh, mobility is in very good shape in this area. No significant issues there, no bridge damage in this region. We do still have some areas uh, where we just urge just drive cautiously and follow the orders of local law enforcement uh, if you're asked to uh, avoid a certain area. Governor? Okay. Any comments? Mayor? 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 <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> I want to take this opportunity not only to thank everyone who worked in our county EOC, Emergency Operations Center, but also our municipal centers because it is a tireless job. It's days on end with very little sleep, but we couldn't do it without you. In the Grand Strand area, because of the timing of this storm, we had over 100,000 visitors in the area. And the fact that we successfully got those people evacuated safely in a timely manner, I think is huge. And we owe that to the communication of everybody involved. I wanna thank the governor's office for your communication with us, um, our federal government and, our, and our, um, state, all of our state government. The president's office reached out to us several times. And when we know that we can reach out to our county, to our state, and to our federal government to work with us, that is important. That is when we know that we have the support and the trust and the dependability that we need to do what we do. So thank you. We're gonna have great weather in, in the Grand Strand this weekend. We have a great Gospel Waves of Praise Festival in Myrtle Beach. Our businesses need support. So. Come to the Grand Strand. We are open for business, and we are ready to welcome you with true Southern hospitality. Thank you. Thank you. The coast is clear. Yes, is that correct? The coast is clear. Yes, Mayor? Absolutely. Thank you, sir. Yes. On behalf of the city of Conway, I'd like to um, sincerely thank the governor for his um, personal attention to us during this time. Uh, Congressman Tom Rice has come in person to visit our people in shelters and to show that he is a part of this community and cares about what's going on. Secretary Hall, uh, individuals who work for both the county and the municipalities have used all their combined experience, and Lord knows we've had our share, uh, to make sure that we take proper steps to safeguard all of our, our residents, our visitors, and our property as well. We have been, um, we've been kept safe this time. We thank God that he has um, raised his hand to keep us safe through, through this danger, this impending danger. And we really want to thank the residents and citizens for having done what they should do as well. Because um, we haven't had issues with people loitering, uh, not too many people trying to get to the beach and, and look at what's happening in the water. Uh, we've done those things that will better safeguard us and, and we're learning as we go. Again, thank you all, every one of you, for all that you've done to make us successful in, in minimizing uh, losses in property, and, and we're so very blessed to not have had loss of life or any serious dangers. God be with all of you. Thank you. Well, I'm going to echo the things the, our last uh, previous two mayors have said. Um, I want to say a special thank you to Randy Webster and his team, uh, Team Horry County. You do an awesome job. Uh, you stay in touch with us throughout the whole time that we are under a, an emergency situation. Um, we are informed. We are all working together, and that's what makes our area is such a great area that we all do work together. I also want to say thank you to the governor. I, I have never had a governor to stay in touch with the mayors and the county the way that our governor does. Go, uh, governor um, McMasters is absolutely one of the best when it comes to uh, communicating with the cities and with the county. I'd like to thank you. You're very welcome. Um, <laughs> I, um, Secretary Hall, thank you. 
Uh, the highway departments have worked very well with all of us. Uh, we got our tourists and we got our residents out uh, in a timely manner, and we're getting them back in in a timely manner, um, which is wonderful. Our beaches are open. As we just said, the coast is clear. We'd love to see as many people come and enjoy the beautiful weather that we're going to have in the next few weeks, and um, we're, we want to welcome them all back in. Um, North Myrtle Beach did have a tornado that touched down, and so we ask you to keep those people in your prayers. We had nine condo buildings that were damaged. We had two buildings that had to we had to cut the uh, power off. So we have had at least eight to ten families that have been, had to move from those buildings. We also had, also had three mobile homes who lost their roofs. So um, we've had some severe damage from the tornado. So we ask that you keep those people in your thoughts and your prayers. Um, we had some damage to our, our beaches. We had significant um, um, sand lost on the beaches, uh, erosion. But uh, we have already been in contact with the Army Corps of Engineers, and they are going to be up as probably next week to assess and, and see what we can do to get that started. So all in all, everyone is work, working great together. Team South Carolina, as the governor says, and that's exactly what we are. Um, and we thank the media for getting the word out. So thank you, and um, y'all all have a blessed day. Thank you, ma'am. And again, I'd like to thank the volunteers. We have them all over the state. They came from all over the state to assist, and they're still available. We've had some people in shelters, the Red Cross, the Salvation Army, and, uh, and a number of others. And it's great that uh, without the volunteers, we couldn't do it. Uh, we will continue to collaborate, communicate, and cooperate to find ways to do things better. And we would need your help. If, any, if you know something, remember the, uh, the old saying, the only stupid question is the one you don't ask. Well, the only uh, poor suggestion is the one you don't make. So we'd like to hear from, from what, what we learned and what we can, can do better. Uh, are there any questions for anyone before we adjourn this honorable court? Any questions? <laughs> Question on the evacuation order. Were you satisfied with how early? Yes, moving? sir. I mean, you had it set for a certain hour, and then you moved it up a little bit because of the roads. We, uh, the evacuation, uh, yes, we opened the, the reversal an hour and a half earlier. Yes, sir. Yes, And, the, and it worked. Correct. The evacuation order uh, timelines didn't change, but what changed was us accelerating the availability of the reversal of I-26 by an hour and a half to accommodate the traffic flows. And Sir, let me ask you about, you know, now we sit, we're sitting here over the last 20 years, we've seen these hurricanes come through. This, I'm sure it's changed a little bit of how planning has gone since 2016 to where we are today. Your take on the continuation of these storms and the impacts they have on this region and how you guys have to keep monitoring and developing new ways or uh, continuing ways to keep a close eye on these things and how well, you we, we know in South Carolina we, we're in what they call Hurricane Alley. We know we're going to have them, and that's just what part of what we – do no nobody is uh, very few people are leaving to go to Michigan or Kansas because of the hurricanes. That people are they're coming and no buses out there are leaving. Uh, we've got a beautiful state and we just flew over uh, in the helicopter from Columbia. And you, you really, if you haven't had a chance to do that, uh, you you ought to you just ought to take a look at, at where we are in paradise. All the farms and the houses down there, and you, the cities and water and the green. It is. Is something that you don't see in most other places in this country. But as people tell us or tell me, businesses from around the world that are coming to look to invest hundreds of millions and billions of dollars, they cite all of that. They cite our great technical college system, which is the best in the United States. Uh, they cite the great research universities and the, the water and the beaches and the mountains and all the things that we've talked about, but they always say the main reason that they want to come to South Carolina, invest billions of dollars and hire hundreds and thousands of South Carolinians is because of the nature and the character of the people. And that is what you see displayed here today. Now, we've been through hurricanes before. We, we will go through some more. We're not fighting and fussing. We're working together to see that the children are safe, save as much property as we can, and, 
And we, I believe in this, we have succeeded yet again in doing that, and we'll continue to do it. We live in the best place in the world. We know we're going to have hurricanes. What we can do, we can't stop them, but we can be prepared. And we, we are prepared, and we've got had a lot of experience and a lot of talent, and I think that was vividly on display in this, in this last hurricane. Flood commission as well, Governor. Your oh, flood commission. Yes, we, we're doing something as far as we know it, it, it's unique. We have a, a flood commission that, that we established <clears throat> that has a number of subcommittees, so to speak, or sub uh, uh, areas that will address, address every aspect of the, the flooding in, in South Carolina, whether it's on the coast, in the rivers, or whatever the cause. And it's, uh, that's, the meeting is going to be on November 8th, no November the County Service Day. That's right. And it'll, it'll be, uh, people tell us it's, they, they don't know of such a thing uh, being created before. There's all sorts of talent with uh, PhDs and professors and geologists and everything in between, as well as people who've, who've dealt with uh, engineering and uh, plumbing and everything, agriculture. It's, it's really going to be quite something. And we, this will be the, the first major meeting. Is that correct? This will be the annual meeting, I believe. The fourth quarter meeting. Fourth quarter the fourth, meeting. This will be the fourth quarter, but there, there will be a lot of folks here, and you're all invited to, to attend. The Horry County cleanup, sorry. The Horry County cleanup, um, for which we need as many volunteers as we can get. You want to say that loud? Sure. <laughs> so as a part of uh, this annual meeting of the Governor's Floodwater Commission, uh, November 8th is Horry County Cleanup Day. We're expecting and needing thousands of hands-on participants to be a part of cleaning uh, Crabtree, cleaning uh, the, the river, the, the ocean, uh, everywhere possible. Um, all that we can do to keep water moving more smoothly next time is the job of that group on November 8th. So we really want you to spread the word. And, um, and, and solicit as many volunteers as there are possible. Thank you. And I'm glad you said that because I want to be sure everybody <laughs> realizes there never will be enough money in the uh, government to do all of these things that we need to do. We must rely on volunteers. And I say, why, why would you volunteer? Why would you go out and clean up the highway or clean up the beach? Well, the answer is because it's yours. Just treat it like it's, it's your house, it's your backyard, it is your state. And that is the only way we will ever take care of, of all of these things. Many of the things that we, we need to do is to rely on the people themselves to join together as, as we have in these various offices to get these things done. But do, never, never misunderstand and be sure to teach the children this is their state, it is their land. So they should treat it like it's their land. You see trash, pick it up. You might see somebody littering, you may want to give them a friendly reminder that there's a trash can just a few feet away. Congressman? Congressman? These guys have said it all. Y'all go ahead. Yeah, but we like to hear you say it. He's chairman of one of the task forces. Well, I, I wanted to add one. Well, let me start out by saying I'm just thankful. <laughs> you know, yesterday morning we woke up. We had a Category 3 hurricane headed straight at us. Wow. <laughs> this could have been so much worse. And the governor yesterday morning gave a speech and said, you know, the thing could go left, it could go right. It took a right. I heard, I heard what happens. He sent Christy Hall, the Department of Transportation, out there, gave it an off-ramp. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. But it worked. <laughs> you know, I represent eight counties, and three of the poorest counties in the state, Marion, Dillon, and Marlboro. And, uh, you know, the, that corridor, along the North Carolina line has been hit really bad three of the last four years. And uh, I called yesterday, Marion County had, uh, I think they said they had 59 people in the shelter. <laughs> That's about less, less than a tenth of what they had last year at this time. Uh, Orange County had a few hundred, way, way less than before, and those shelters were closed up. Georgetown County had 30 or 40. So no, this was, uh, I'm so thankful that that storm just gave us a glancing blow and that the damage was limited, as limited as it is, and that the, there is no loss of life and very little injury. So we, I am just so thankful. I, yeah, this morning, I, yesterday morning, I was worried that all that money we got for beachfront renourishment and all that work that's been done the last couple of years would be wiped out. I thought the dunes would be gone. This morning, I walked down to the beach at 7.30 in the morning. The dunes are perfect. <laughs> the beach is great. 
There's hundreds of people down there picking up shells. So y'all come on back. We are open for business. This is a great, great place to vacation. And one more thing about the Flood War Commission. The doggone governor had a great idea right there. That is, you know, to to not just not just come up with things that we thought were important, but to put a commission in, of people who are knowledgeable on the subject to prioritize how we spend limited money. And he gave me, he put me on the commission. He gave me one function, and that is to get money from the federal government. <laughs> we got 157 million dollars released three weeks ago for that flood water commission to have to have assets to uh, carry out these things that we prioritize. So it is, this is a very unique, this is a very innovative process. And I'm, I'm really proud of the way that the governor handled this entire event, but also the preparation for mitigation that we have to minimize the effects of these hurricanes in the future uh, that we're working on right now to make sure that, yeah, we're gonna have hurricanes. We've always had hurricanes, we always will have hurricanes. But we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that they're as least disruptive as possible. Thank you, Governor. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman. Uh, the goal is to make water our friend, of course. We can't leave without hearing from Johnny Gardner. Well, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Governor. But I believe everybody said everything. But uh, thank all of y'all. Thank everybody here. Uh, we got over 50 people in this room, and I believe everybody's aware of that. But two of you have actually gone through it. Um, this is my first time going through it on this end of it. I don't think you have a perspective of what goes on here. And the governor has been instrumental in his leadership and we're grateful for that. He preaches to us the communications and uh, it's easy to communicate from top down to bottom. What we've been doing is communicating from bottom to top and top to bottom and it's been very effective. And as you can see, we got everybody out of the way, got everybody <coughs> safe. Now we're gonna clean up the debris. Thank God that there's not a lot of debris to clean up and there's been no injuries. Governor, this is my first one, and I don't need another one. <laughs> I got some news for you. <laughs> if there are no more questions, uh, we will adjourn, and thank you very much for coming.